All right, well, good, rather chilly morning, everybody. It's been a few days since I've done a video, and that's mainly due to the fact that it's been raining a lot. We've had a lot more thunderstorms come through and rain. That's been kind of interesting, sleeping in the old leaky camper over there, but we're about to resolve that issue here pretty soon. So what I want to do today, before I have to get back to bed and head on to work, is kind of give you a quick little garden tour. Things are starting to pop out and happen. Uh, we've got some new things that we're going to plant. I've got to do a little weeding, thinning, so that's kind of what this video is going to be about, just doing a lot of work in and around the garden. Thanks for watching. Well, as y'all can see, the pepper plants are doing quite well, and uh, I might not get to it today, but I finally had a bunch of tomato cages come in that I, I like to put those around peppers, and these are starting to get the height that uh, they potentially could fall over, so I'll be putting those on pretty soon. We'll probably catch that in another episode or two. So they're starting to do a little bit of blooming. That's good. My zucchini are starting to come on well. They were yellowing up quite a bit, so I hit them with a tiny little bit of fertilizer. Still starting to get some uh, nice blooms there. And Tiffany come home the other day and kind of surprised me. She decided to go by the uh, nursery and pick up a few things. So it looks like I got some more planting to do. Got a few blueberry bushes. We're gonna go back and get several more of those and uh, a peach tree that she picked out. It looks like it's already got a couple little peaches on it. So we'll be planting those very soon, along with my loquats over there, my citrus trees, Myers lemon, a lime. Looks like we already got a few blueberries on these bushes. And she uh, loves muscadine grapes, even though we have them everywhere on the property. So she picked up one of those there. I actually already see little grape pods all over it. All right, as we head out into the garden, the okra, you know, it's kind of hit or miss if you watch the other episode there where I had to replant a lot of it. I'm starting to see some of that replanting pop up. But uh, over in this section, the okra's doing quite well. Peppers, hit or miss, you know, the storm tore a lot of those up, broke them. But there's a few in there doing quite well. Same with this. This box did very well through that bad windstorm. Corn, ah, doing fantastic. Pretty much every single piece came up. So it's time for me to go ahead and go through and thin this out. Squash and zucchini, doing very well. They seem to love this compost. Almost every single seed came up. I had two missing spots that I replanted. And uh, I already see one of those spots coming up. Potatoes are starting to show signs of life. They're popping out everywhere. Looks like the majority of the potatoes are gonna make it just fine. Still seeing them breaking the surface here. So uh, real happy with that. Wasn't sure about how I planted them. This is the bed I'm struggling on so bad. I cannot get cucumbers to come up to save my life. Never had a problem planting cucumbers in the old sandy soil that I was used to in the past, but it's just something about this compost they're not liking. I don't know if it's just too high in nitrogen and that's a problem, but I've planted them twice. One time a little too deep. This last time, just according to what the, was recommended, about a half inch deep, and I just cannot get uh, these cucumbers to come up. Kind of been struggling with the beans a little too. Had to replant them. Got a few coming up. They take a while to germinate, as I found out, so we'll uh, we'll kind of see how those seeds do over the next week or so. If you watched my most recent uh, bed build, you know, I just decided to put two more 4x12 beds in. I threw some beans and corn in them real quick. Corn is already coming up. Like I said, it just loves this compost. I'm seeing little pieces everywhere. And this four by 12 bed that I just built, I threw a couple cantaloupe seeds in there. So I'm uh, not really seeing many pop up. However, this end, these two popped up no problem. So I'm gonna watch another day or two. And if I don't see these pop up, I'm gonna quickly replant there. All right, what we're gonna jump on here pretty quick is, if you've watched some of my other episodes, you see that I have grass coming up. And uh, like I explained, this is not grass. It's growing up from the ground. Whenever I scoop my compost up on the ground with a tractor, 
I accidentally scooped some of this grass up and uh, transplanted it. So I'm gonna work on getting some of that out today while it's still relatively loose and close to the surface. And we're also gonna start thinning these plants out. Let's get started. All right, now I'm gonna start thinning my plants out. I always put way more seeds than what's needed, just due to some might not germinate. So then I like to go back in and uh, find the healthier plant, pull out the weaker looking plant beside it. That way it's not competing uh, with the other plant there. So just kind of something I've always done, been raised to do. All right, if you've been watching the channel for a while, especially for the garden build, you heard me talk about coming out here and weeding the grass and not using the herbicides. I don't mind using herbicides around the property, but just near my food, I don't agree with it. It's just kind of too controversial nowadays and there's just a lot of uncertainty around it. So I use a propane powered weeder. I got this off of Amazon. I need to remember to include a link below where I try to include all the stuff that I use on the channel. But, uh, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's just a propane weeder. They're pretty common, not that expensive. You hook it up to a 20 or 30 pound cylinder. It just so happens that the insurance company's totaling our camper from the bad storm. And uh, I have full 30 pound cylinders on the front. So I figured this now is a good time to use them before they come get that camper. So what I do is I just go around and you just wave this over the grass. It's pretty powerful. And all you're doing is breaking down the cellular structure in the grass. You're not trying to cook green grass down and make it catch on fire. Although sometimes that kind of does happen, but we're not going to burn up the yard here. We just got a lot of rain. All you're trying to do is just hear that grass uh, just kind of click and pop. So you're bullying the inside and it'll break it down and kill it. It's an excellent way to kill grass without using herbicides. So I'm going to go around the edge. I'm going to go ahead and start getting the pass. It's going to take a little bit of time to do this. It won't kill it all the first time, but you'll start seeing in the next few episodes as I'm out here, how quickly this starts yellowing up, breaking down, and eventually goes to dirt. Then I'll have to make another pass or two to get what grows back and some weeds. So let's get started. Let me show you how this works. All right, so you just hook it up to your cylinder. I'll wheel one around on a dolly, uh, especially since this is a 30 pound cylinder, but a lot of times I'll just carry a 20 pound around. It's manageable. It's got a little cut off valve here on the end. Some of them have nice squeeze handles. You just turn your gas on. It's fully adjustable. It can get
get quite powerful. These are also excellent for lighting brush fires, uh, getting a regular fire started. But you know, if you pile up a lot of green material and uh, want to start, you know, just a cleanup fire, great for that. A lot of uses for these. Give you a little sneak peek there i would say i probably have 30 to 45 minutes in burning all this by far the most i have ever burnt with a weed burner typically i've always used it for edging or uh, just doing a little bit of spot weeding and it works fantastic for that so i was kind of sweeping a little fast because there's just so much to do and i've never really tried to sweep fast it may still kill the grass great or i may have to wind up going over it multiple times but uh I'll keep y'all updated on that if that's something you're interested in. But you can see it pretty much wilted all the grass. Got it killed back nicely. So I just worked all inside the beds and uh, once I get this killed off, this is what I'll layer with my mulch. Now all back there behind those last two beds, I've still got to kill all that off for probably another 20 feet because that's where I'm going to put some blueberry bushes and a grapevine. So. We shall see how this works. Got the garden uh, nice and thinned out, all the vegetables thinned. Started working on this grass. I did let it go a bit long. We just had so much other stuff going on. Uh, well, thank you for watching. I believe this video is gonna be kind of short. Every time I say that, I go to editing and realize, man, this video is a lot longer than I thought, but I gotta keep it kind of short today. So we shall see how this turns out when I start editing. Gotta get back to bed, get back to work. Uh, some of the next projects are going to be finally putting a fence up around this. Uh, we've got a fifth wheel camper coming over thanks to a family member that's helping us out since we haven't found anything locally yet. And the insurance company is coming to pick up ours that got totaled. So got to do some wiring for that, some electrical stuff. So I'm just going to throw a little random different projects on the channel here. Hopefully y'all enjoy that kind of stuff. A lot of gardening videos coming up. Like I said, fencing, planting these fruit trees that's back here behind you. So uh, just lots of little things going on. Need to plant a few more missing spots here. I'll keep you updated as things grow and hopefully here before long. I mean, we still got several weeks, but looking forward to picking our first vegetables. So I can't wait to taste some of those. Thank you all so much for watching. And I do want to say we just hit a thousand subscribers today. 
uh, awesome milestone. Thank you so much to everybody that subscribed to the channel. It's really keeping me motivated to get out here and do these projects. And I'll admit, although I stay very busy and active, a lot of times knowing that, hey, I want to get out there and make a video or update y'all on something motivates me even more to get out here and knock projects out. So thank you for the kind comments, for subscribing, uh, sharing the channel, liking, all that has really helped us get to this point. And like I said, it's also motivated me to get out here and knock out a lot more projects than maybe I would have. So thank you for that.